My laboratory is studying the interactions between the viruses and the mosquito because we believe that there is great opportunity in uh, interfering with those interactions and block them and in that way stop the transmission of these pathogens and the diseases. It turns out that the mosquito has an innate immune system. It's more primitive than the human immune system, but it's still quite effective. And in fact, some mosquitoes will not transmit a certain virus because of their immune system is so effective at suppressing infection with that virus. We are trying to understand how the mosquito's immune system is recognizing the virus and it's stopping virus infection. Because if we understand that mechanism, we can use different approaches to render mosquitoes resistant. One such approach is, for example, based on genetic engineering of the mosquito. One can use genetic engineering to make the mosquito more immune competent, better at blocking infection of the virus. So as you can imagine, if you have a mosquito like that, and if you can release it in the field and replace the wild type mosquitoes, as we call them, with these genetically engineered mosquitoes, that would stop transmission of the pathogen. And there are different approaches of doing that, and there's quite a bit of research going into that. Another approach we are looking at is how we can use the mosquitoes microbiota to control infection with the virus. It turns out that the mosquito has a variety of bacteria in its gut tissue. And some of these bacteria can actually interfere with virus infection. And if we can identify those specific bacteria and, and the mechanism by which they interfere with virus infection, we can use that knowledge to perhaps develop new strategies to block infection of the mosquito with the virus and, and thereby transmission. One of those bacteria is, for example, a chromobacterium. Uh, it produces uh, antiviral factors when it is in the mosquito gut, and in that way it blocks infection of the mosquito with the virus. Another example is, as you know, Wolbachia. Wolbachia is an uh, endosymbiont of the mosquito, and when the mosquito is infected with certain strains of Wolbachia, it makes the mosquito resistant to both dengue and Zika virus. The nice thing with Wolbachia is that it can be propagated in the mosquito population sort of automatically since it is inherited from the mother to the offspring. I think one important thing to stress here is that we need many different strategies to control these diseases. One method, one strategy is not going to work on its own. We need the drugs, we need the vaccines, we need mosquito control and perhaps some of these newer strategies that block infection in the mosquito too. Uh, it is like fighting a war. You cannot win a war using one weapon only, but you need multiple weapons to effectively win a war. And the same applies for the war against dengue and Zika and other pathogens. So we need multiple strategies and methods to target and attack these pathogens to stop their transmission.